Um, I'd also like to uh, thank specifically Anthony, the uh, poor public works kid who had the unfortunate wisdom to let Jeff know that he was home that weekend. <laughs> <laughs> And Jeff said, don't you want to work? <laughs> and uh, the kid couldn't say no to him. Uh, and uh, Anthony was there bright and early in the morning, helping us set up, stay pretty much throughout the day. He was there at night and helped us break down. And then the next morning was actually the first one there, you know, Jeff and I were both a little quickly, um, getting to do the breakdown. Because we had to take all of the tables and chairs away from the park and then move them back to Public Works and then bring them back over there so the company can come pick up their tables and chairs and then we drove around picking up all the signs and everything. So um, I'd really like to thank him. He did a phenomenal job. He was a trooper and we had a good time. Um, um, and certainly, last but not least, I would like to thank uh, the clerk's husband, Bill. Uh, Bill, out of the kindness of his heart, decided that he was going to come, rode his bike, and you know, there was a little miscommunication, rode his bike to U Square Park while we were all in, in the public works garage. Um, and uh, was there the entire day. Um, was there until 11 o'clock, 11.30 at night with the setup breakdown. I don't think uh, any of us were gone from the park for more than maybe a half an hour just to, you know, close your eyes for a second because it was a long day. Um, so I would definitely like to recommend Bill and as a special thing I decided that we were going to take some money and we were going to purchase a gift card for Bill for all of his work and just as a little thanks of appreciation. So um, I was hoping Bill would be able to be here tonight but I did get a $50 Walmart gift card uh, for Bill specifically. And if you can pass that down to Kathy. Unfortunately, we didn't have the envelopes, which we never did by that story. Thank you, um, But, you know, he really was a trooper. He helped out so much. I couldn't even tell you how how much he was very much appreciated and needed. And I look forward to working with him next year. So make sure we put him down for the volunteer list. And um, I'd also like to give a special big thanks to Jeff because Jeff was, you know, that was his son's first football game, and I think he left for about an hour so he could see his son play for a little bit, and then that was it. Uh, Jeff was there from probably about 7.30 in the morning until uh, right about midnight when we all got home. So, you know, I understand, you know, everybody works hard, and Jeff certainly was uh, one of the harder workers that we had that night. So I did buy him a $25 Subway gift card because I know he likes to eat there quite a bit. Um, so we got him uh, just as a special appreciation of thanks for him as well. Um, and I look forward to it next year. We are starting planning. Uh, we're already talking about starting planning for next year's Hainesville Fest in January. So we will be having more meetings. Uh, before we even left this uh, last wrap up meeting, we had, we already started talking about our next event. So just to let you know, uh, not only are we doing Halloween, but we are also planning our second annual um, holiday mixer. It's going to be here at the Village Hall. It's going to be Sunday, December 11th from 2 to 6. We will have holiday music, refreshments. Uh, that is also when we'll be having our Santa in the back for pictures. He'll be available for pictures. And all the Christmas wishes. And um, I think that's all I have. I think that's, <laughs> that's enough. <laughs> that's enough, John. I know. appreciate your enthusiasm. More than I usually do. So <laughs> that was anything more fun. I shop with a copy of it. We talked about that earlier. We did right. talk about it. Uh, we are going to, we're leaving that to Grays of PD because they're the ones who would be running it with us. So we're going to find out what they did and, and let them, yeah. and let them take the lead on that because we do have a credit Um, and I just want to say um, about John's parents, they were, they were quite a hit, and um, they are looking to downsize, and we have been sending them listings of homes, so if there's any home that you think would be perfect for a couple that's looking to downsize. It's like a ranch. <laughs> I know. She 
she knows them all. Okay. Okay. Set, take his card and send the listing to his email. <laughs> okay. no My mother doesn't tell you. That's okay. She'll forgive you. No, She'll I would definitely you. love for them to be out here, but you know, right now. All right, we need to move on though. We need to get this business done. It's getting late. Uh, first business item, awarding of the bid for the MFT 2011 crack filling project to be pavement maintenance incorporated for $24,381.30. Do we have a motion? So we'll move 13 cents. 13 cents, I'm sorry. So we'll move for the uh, aforementioned amount. Second. Roll call. Trustee Staranowski, Aye. Priest, Aye. Duberstein, Aye. Barrett, Aye. and Washington. Aye. Motion carried. Uh, second item of business, um, hopefully you had time to read through this. Um, basically, there were some errors. This is going to be a rather complex document due to the IEPA requirements. So this is an ordinance repealing ordinance 11-8-151. Um, and authorizing the Village of Mainsville to borrow funds from the IEPA Public Water Supply and Loan Program. So this corrects and ratifies everything. So do we have a motion for approval? So moved. Second. Roll call. Trustee Staranowski. Aye. Priest. Aye. Duberstein. Aye. Barrett. Aye. And Walkington. Aye. Motion carried the new ordinance number is 11 dash 9. Do I have a motion for adjournment? So moved. All in favor? Aye. 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 Good night, everyone. <laughs>